They're just fed up of seeing you spend money. I don't really care. <sighs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Get ready. <laughs> Dr. Phil's coming in. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Simon Toastkin and this is Buff Pro and we are back with the glorious, the glorious Dr. Phil. We're deeming this Dr. Phil month because Dr. Phil is fantastic. Videos are the best, you guys really enjoy it. Some of you guys out there are like, all you guys do is make Dr. Phil videos. But that's fine because they're wonderful. And now, Cutie Pie's making Dr. Phil videos. He's going back and you know, hitting all the videos we've made already. And uh, since he's doing that, there's a high probability, high chance, that they're gonna start claiming those videos and we, we gotta we gotta tap this before, before it's gone, you know? We gotta get in there. <laughs> and so one of our favorite topics on the Dr. Phil videos is spoiled rich girls. Just cute little girls that have issues, you know. We we, we like those. For whatever I don't know why. Trip me out. If you see us on Dr. Phil because of this situation, you know <laughs> you know where it started. I have exactly 17 credit cards. I gotta stop right there. Okay. Oh <laughs> yeah. She has exactly 17 credit cards. How does your credit gotta be to get 17 credit cards? <laughs> Terrible, I guess. <laughs> They're like, yeah, sure, here, have another one. <laughs> exactly 17 credit cards. Okay, well maybe this is not a rich girl. Maybe it's just the one that thinks she's rich. And I'm $25,300 in debt. What? No, she's not rich. No, not at all. Quite the opposite. No, I don't think she's rich. $25,000 plus in debt. Uh, Spread across 17 credit cards. Woo! I just like going out and to be able to buy what I want it makes me happy. You know, I like going out and buy what I want too. Does that make you happy? It makes me happy. Yeah. yeah but if it would probably make me very sad and depressed if I had to use 17 credit cards <laughs> and was $25,000 in debt. That makes you happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She hasn't even got to the Dr. Phil show yet, but I wonder how this is gonna go like, ah! He's just gonna, she's gonna walk in and he's gonna be like, the knife hand in the face, what are you doing? Stop it! I like BMWs, Mercedes, and like Range Rovers. I want a baby blue one with um, ivory interior. Convertible, of course, hard top. I'm surprised you didn't say G-Wagon. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for the G-Wagon. <laughs> She's got, she's got more simple taste, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This one's so pretty. Do y'all have any convertibles? Hang on. Did you see Dr. Phil's face when it first came on? Look yep. at him. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, having <laughs> <laughs> to hold himself back already. Well, Joey says her spoiled and entitled 19-year-old daughter, Sherilyn, has blown 130 grand. Living the high life with fast cars, designer bags, clothes, makeup, the list goes on. 100. Fat and a hundred and thirty thousand dollars. Ah, please. They... <laughs> I don't even know. I I don't even. Credit cards are free money, man. Just keep swiping, baby. Just keep swiping. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. This is what happened when Rosie Mercado, special correspondent for the doctors, met up with Sherilyn. Who's that girl? They just showed. I don't know. She keeps scaring me. I gotta listen to that again. I thought that I thought he said Skeletor really when they <laughs> <laughs> special correspondent, someone that they're like, you look like you spend a lot of money on stuff you don't need. I bet you can talk. Go to talk girl. to her. Mm -hmm. Hi, Sherilyn. I've hey. heard so much about you. Yeah, so I'll give it up. <laughs> <laughs> She's beautiful. She's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Do you think that you're spoiled? I think I'm spoiled. You think you're spoiled? I think I'm spoiled. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit. I mean, it's kind of a, not really a question. <laughs> do you blame your mom for that? I mean, I blame her because growing up, I didn't have to do anything. I didn't have to clean my room. Didn't have to do my laundry. I didn't have any chores. She had a mom like that. Yeah. My mom was like, clean your room! And I hear, <laughs> and the shoe comes flying in the room and smack me. <laughs> nah, mom, please! Mom, can I get a new toy? No, play with the ones you already got, but mom, they're broke. Quit breaking them! <laughs> Shoot, my bad. Mom's not really like that, but you know, <laughs> I feel like that sometimes. <laughs> what happens when you ask your boyfriend Tyler for money and he says no? I start yelling, screaming, throwing hey. things. Hey, you have some money? <laughs> He's like, just take the money, get away from me, Jesus. <laughs> we're breaking up. No, we're not. Okay, okay, fine. <laughs> Poor guy, got it rough. Doc, help him. How many credit cards do you have? 17. And do you owe money on all 17? All of them are maxed out completely. <laughs> They're all maxed out. Now, what do you do with the bills? I just throw them away. <laughs> you <pop> <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's good. I mean, 
Uh, why would, if you're doing that, why would you even go on the Dr. Phil show? Like, I, they, now they know where she is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude in the back with like a sniper rifle, like, trank her in the neck and like go there and like start taking her organs out. <laughs> you owe us some money. <laughs> Dr. Phil is going to send her to the ranch. He's going to send her straight to prison until she pays her debt off. Took her jewelry from her and I went to the pawn shop. Took her jewelry or you stole her jewelry? I stole it. And how much money did you get for that? Only about $300 per ring. Okay. Person interviewing her really scares me. <laughs> yeah, she's scary. Nah. Even even the scariest she is, she looks disgusted at this chick. Yeah. <laughs> I stole all this priceless stuff from my mother. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Please. <laughs> They're just fed up of seeing you spend money. I don't really care. <sighs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel, Doc. <laughs> okay, let me go ahead and get ready. <laughs> Dr. Phil's coming in. <laughs> what do you think about your behavior as it's played back to you? She had sex. She had a kid. Like, she grew me up, didn't she? She grew, she her, grew her, up. her up. Pour some water on her, grew, yeah. her, grew her right up. Yeah, just add water, feed it every now and then, give it 17 credit cards, and watch it grow, baby! Yeah, it just grow. <laughs> she grow her up. Grow her up. When they bought you a Ford Focus, why, why was that not okay? It was ugly. It was a gift. It's an ugly gift. It was ugly. Yeah. Well, yeah, we know about ugly gifts. <laughs> yeah. I mean, ugly gifts don't really count. Here's, you know a, I mean? here's like a $30,000 ugly gift. Uh, uh, no, blah, no. Blah, 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 That's blah. ugly, so it don't count. Yeah, I'm gonna know? destroy it or something. I don't, I don't know what she did with Probably it. Probably pawned it. <laughs> <laughs> and you pawn your mother's heirloom jewelry. She's wearing my earrings right now. No, I went to the pawn shop and purchased them out of the case. Got her? <laughs> Question mark? <laughs> Mom's like, mm-hmm, I went and paid for these twice. <laughs> yes, sir. Do you have 17 credit cards and you, you said you just throw the bills away when they come in? Yeah. That's theft. Oh. The knife hand is already out. Yeah, it's out, baby, it's he, out. He's just like, mm. He's setting her up. <laughs> the cerebral assassin. <laughs> so you're just a criminal they haven't caught yet. I guess. Okay, well, that's nice because you're on national television right now and you're confessing. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> cool, gotcha. <laughs> All right, uh, let's arrest her then. Yeah. You did it. And she's just like, ah, it's so fun. Uh, and he's guess. like, I'm dead serious. You're kind of really dumb. Uh, <laughs> you shove a fish sandwich in your mother's mouth? I mean, she should have ate faster. It's eaten, not ate. Did you sell your fifth grade grammar book? <laughs> Get her, Doc! Get her, Doc! Get her, Doc! Let's go! Uh, let's go! Let's go! $20,493 in outstanding on closed credit cards. She's like, I can't, Doc, I can't. $3,139 outstanding on open credit cards. She's like, I'm sweating, like, oh, it's coming! <laughs> That's a total of $24,979.22. I have here a check from the Dr. Phil Show for $24,979.22, your total indebtedness. Uh, doc, doc, don't, don't, doc, don't give her that money. Why is, what is this? Uh, he, he's, he's gotta, there's gotta be like some, uh, he's about to, pull, he's about to pull, the, pull the rug out from uh, under or something. Please, please do. You hit the reset button and start over. I would go to school. Okay. Well, that ain't happening. Oh, <laughs> oh god. Oh my god. What? Oh. I knew he was savage, but <laughs> oh. He just pulled out that money, got her crying. <laughs> Not. <laughs> Let's see what happened when she saw where she would be spending the night. Yeah, it feels like, let me see what else I did to her. <laughs> hey, I have a surprise for you. Oh, wait. You said uh, that one of your biggest fears was what would happen if you ended up on the streets. We'll stay here. Wait, what? <laughs> wait, what? Wait, what? We're going to stay here with these peasants? <laughs> Right. You know, I'm kind of glad they made you go sleep on the street. Yeah, I am too. But I mean, I doubt she learned anything from the lesson. She's just like, 
Yeah. This is what I gotta do to get on that Dr. Phil show. I guess I'll do it. And then Dr. Phil was like, <laughs> ah, shut up, you're not getting any money. Go to the ranch. <laughs> like Dr. Phil went Super Saiyan in that one. Oh, oh my God, oh, it's Dr. Phil. Oh, it's, it's over 9,000. Oh.